What's going on guys? My name is Dick here. It is uh, June 23rd, 2015. Just going to do a kind of a quick update video. I'm trying not to ramble too much here. Kind of keep it to the point. I um, haven't done an update video in a long time. I've been meaning to do an update video pretty much this whole year, but I uh, never got around to it. So I mean, I don't know. First off, uh, thanks to uh, any new subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, I'm now at like 600 and I don't know. 600 and a half I suppose which is uh, awesome. I really appreciate the uh, viewership. Yeah, it's great to have a uh, you know Small but attentive audience which I seem to have here uh, It's been cool interacting with people and uh, you know people uh, watching my shit man. I can uh, yeah, it's an honor I appreciate it a lot. So uh, I mean I've, I've meant to do like a 500 sub thing and a 600 sub thing, but uh just uh, never really got around to it. I'm not even really sure what I would do for something like that. So, um, you know, just uh, I'll say thanks now and uh, kind of leave it at that. Oh, I guess another thing I should say is uh, this is kind of a two-year anniversary for me. It's been uh, two years on YouTube, which is pretty crazy. It's been a fast, uh, fast two years. It's gone by real quick, but uh, it's been cool. I've had a lot of fun, met a lot of people. What else can you really say, you know? So uh, thanks to those who have been hanging out with me since the beginning. It's hard to say who those people might be. Matt Ezra would definitely be one. Benevolent Dick NES is uh, inspiration. You should definitely, he's only got 20 subscribers. I think he, he definitely needs more attention. There's some great Gotta content. always thank him for, uh, I mean, still to this day, I think once in a while, it's like probably three out of the 10 subs I get somehow come from him. And uh, and he's been doing really good. And uh, I'm glad, I, I had no idea. Again, I've known Matt since uh, before LJ and Defender and blah, blah, blah. And uh, people that know Matt knows he's a very uh, outgoing guy and easy to, uh, I don't know, he's Matt. He's Matt, fucking nicest guy you can know. So thanks to him for that, hanging in there with me and shit and uh, everybody else too. So uh, yeah, two years, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, 2015 has been interesting. Um, pretty much right when the year started, the only Let's Play show I had was like the bro off stuff, which was uh, very underviewed, even though there was a lot of work put in a couple of those episodes. A couple of those episodes pretty much broke my ass. It kicked my ass. I wanted to do simple, something simpler, so I started doing uh, Playing With The Dick, which has uh, kind of taken over my channel. Uh, my channel is a lot of filler content, I know, but um, those have been fun to do. They're easy to do, so it's good to have videos that are non-scripted like that, but uh, sometimes I might polish the turd a little bit bit. I, I'm, I'm pretty much a turd polisher when it comes to editing videos. That's a side subject though. Um, but yeah, I feel because of the goal-oriented nature of him, um, keeps him somewhat interesting. Although I've gotten a little more casual with him with uh, videos like Bad Dudes or uh, whatever, Puss in Boots, I mean. So uh, I'll probably slow down on those and maybe go back to the original thing where it's really like, you know, goal-oriented. Uh, there's a couple games where uh, there's things I don't even think I can accomplish with them, so it'd be cool to set out some goals and just be like, you know what would be cool if I could uh, pull this off in a game or pull that off in a game and go for it. Maybe doing some things that are that seem impossible to me now, but maybe would be, uh, you know, some I can accomplish. So, yeah, that I'm going to slow down on those a little bit. Um, I fucking hate Let's Plays, but at the same time, I'm coming around to them for a lot of reasons. I mean, you form relationships with people on YouTube, and it's like, all right, well, I kind of want to see what someone's up to, you know. I watched a video by Lumps the Clown earlier today. Lumps the Clown, I like that guy. Yeah. That guy, he's got, I got my eye on him. Yeah. I'm gonna watch him, he's, he's gonna do big things. Definitely. Not like that Buried on Mars motherfucker. That Where he was doing highlights from his stream, which is another thing worth bringing up. Um, I uh, did a couple streams recently. I did one on my friend's channel, Dave, there from Co-op Broth. Ooh. Kind of a live Co-op Broth stream. And uh, that's cool. And uh, so he helped kind of show me how to do it. So um, I do stream once in a while. It's not something I'm super into. But um, on occasion, I might do it. So if you do want to follow me on Twitch there, you can follow me there. And uh, maybe I'll stream once in a while, you know. Nothing crazy. Maybe once or twice a month. Who knows. But um, yeah, it'd be cool to ha hang out with some people on a, on a stream sometime. Um, and thanks for tuning in on a Saturday, too. Oh, thanks, man. You don't have to do that. You could just sub. Or that's... <laughs> uh, watch some, see if you like it or something. I don't know. I do a bunch of dumb shit. Mostly NES. But like I said, you know, once you form relationships with people, it's kind of like, oh, it's cool to see what they're up to. Watch them play a game. Sometimes they're like, oh, I remember that game. It's a cool game. Fucking makes you want to play it. You know, that type of thing. So um, I'm okay with Let's Plays on that, that type of a level for the most part. But uh, generally people that I don't know or give too much about, give a shit about, I don't really, you know, get into Let's Plays too much. I think it's a really oversaturated thing. As far as the YouTube community, it seems the reviews pretty much, the game review is, is pretty dead. Like, a lot of people I sub to uh, don't really do them. Um, I mean, Matt Azro I think would be an exception. Um, a few other cats. 
there's a lot of guys who do kind of concise short reviews and that's great too but uh, edutainment reviews um, not something you come across too much uh, anymore even James uh, AVGN he doesn't you know he's pretty much a let's play channel now uh, with Mike doing his uh, the let's plays thing you know so it's like it's let's plays pick up videos rants commentary on events or news um, but you don't see reviews too much, so I would like to maybe do bigger projects more, kind of go for more of a quality, quantity type of thing, if that makes sense. That being said, I do have a bigger project coming out. I don't know if it will come out on my two-year anniversary. That's kind of what I was shooting for, but it, it's like 98% done now. It's a bigger project. It's kind of a, like a top 10 video with a new character, I guess. It's kind of weird to call him a character, I suppose, but that's kind of what it is. Um, you kind of create something and roll with it, run with it, and... Uh, so that, you know, hopefully people dig it, I don't know, it's a little different, but uh, at least it's a bigger project, because I haven't really dropped a big project uh, for a while now, I think the last project, I major video I dropped was uh, Defender of the Crown, and that was a while ago now. That's how long that I haven't done an update video, that <laughs> freaking even Defender of the Crown, I'm, I'm, that was such a long time ago. Uh, that video itself was a pain in the ass to make, real nightmare project, but uh, something new. <sighs> Might retire the cat, and do more FaceTime videos, more mainstream videos, things that everyone else does. Show them face and the game and the talking. So that might be a thing. Could try it. I don't know. It was a real learning experience. That was the first video where I was like, all right, drop the cat act. Um, let's go on camera and, uh, you know. So it was a learning experience um, and it was also sort of a nightmare, uh, really tough video to put together. I had originally done a voiceover and then I was gonna replace the exact same voiceover with live segments and then just kind of replace them and go back and forth. But what ended up happening was maybe a third of the way through shooting the live stuff I realized uh, on some of the bits I wasn't even, you know, and I had to get it done in a day. I didn't have time to be doing this over a few days so I had to do it real quick. And then uh, maybe a third of the way through I realized I wasn't recording on my, my microphone and it's like, well, I'm not gonna use the GoPro audio. That it sounds like shit compared to the voiceover. Hey, I think I'm noticing a trend here but maybe it's just me hey I think I'm noticing a trend here but maybe it's just so me. I kind of just was like I like the voiceover uh, <laughs> let's just lip sync it so that video is pretty much lip sync uh, I thought I could pull it off it didn't really work out but it was again that's that's just how it went down um, it was a learning experience I'll never do that again but uh you know it going from not being on camera to being on camera definitely took a little bit of uh, experimenting to figure out I think uh, maybe you know it will get easier over time um, I mean also YouTube uh, when they switched flash players or there was an update I think maybe things look got a little out of sync too there was a lot of technical bullshit with that video I, uh, I might even re-upload it at some point what I should have done is uploaded at 60 frames per second which is what I shot it out and I think I, it actually is pretty fucking synced up if you do it that way but uh, I only started messing with 60 frame stuff recently and uh, it does look a lot smoother a lot better so uh, generally a lot of my videos now will be 60 frames uh, when I can when applicable applicable but uh yeah that video was uh, a nightmare <laughs> but uh it it's whatever I can't even watch it to be honest but uh that was my last major video is my point so uh, it's, it's gonna be cool to have another major video finally drop here again I've been working on it probably on and off for the last three months I'm gonna say which uh, makes sense with my video schedule that to uh that it would take that long I suppose just because uh, I'm not one of those guys who works on one video at a time I got a bunch of videos just sitting there needing to be edited or reviewed or whatever let go my ego the movie Benny's gonna wake me up when it's time to play this game oh oh where are we playing today we are playing American Gladiators for the Nintendo Entertainment System so I uh, expect that definitely this month Maybe put it on the multi-tapped website for a week and then drop it on YouTube, which, um, you know, that's just how it is. It's not that big a deal. You know, so hopefully that will be up there soon. Check out the multi-tap website if you want. Uh, Super Derek just totally revamped it. He did a great freaking job. Um, it looks good. It's, uh, it's a good website. A lot of good content creators on there. So, you know, I'll probably put it up there for a few days until I'm ready to drop it on the uh, YouTube. And hopefully get another plane with a dick um, ready to go. And then, uh, then things might slow down a little bit. So I can just uh, figure shit out and whatnot. Like I said, uh, 2015 has been nuts. I, I'm coming up on 100 videos here. I'm not exactly sure the number. I think this video right here, if this comes out, is going to be video 97 of mine, 98. 
let's just round it up to 100. So 100 freaking videos I have now in my two years. Uh, the crazy thing is, I think I've uploaded 40 to 50 videos this year and it's only freaking June. So that's insane to me. I think what ended up happening was around the time that I did this uh, uh, long play of this game by Capcom, what was it called? Flying Warriors. I think I did play that game that morning and I even edited the first part and had it up that afternoon. It was crazy, like just bam bam type of thing. What ended up happening was I was like, can I upload a video every day? Or can I, what would a full-time schedule kind of feel like? And is that something I would even like to do, you know? So I, I've had little stints here and there where I've been up posting videos pretty regularly in general, but for a while there was like a video every day, every other day, um, sometimes three to five videos a week, once in a while, two a day, which is kind of crazy. Um, sometimes the videos are shit, but uh, considering the time put into some of them, uh, the quality's been pretty good for what they are. Again, they're, you know, let's play type of things. But So I kind of tried to even burn myself out. I kind of was like, you know, pushed myself, could I actually do it? And uh, what ended up happening was uh, I still love doing it. I'm not burnt out at all. I could totally keep this going. I would love to keep this going. Um, the unfortunate thing about doing a schedule like that, though, is it does take up a lot of your time, and I'd like to do bigger projects that are more uh, more work, I suppose. So I'm going to probably back off on that. I kind of made the mistake of just uh, editing, shooting, uploading as fast as possible when it's done, you know, upload it. When I should have probably been doing like a one video a week type of thing, that's really a more realistic schedule. That's uh, what I'm going to try to be doing here too, a video a week if I can. But uh, if I start doing more ambitious projects, uh, who knows? Um, and by ambitious projects, I just mean, you know, scripting, shooting, editing, uh, bigger projects. I think that's what I want to do. Again, uh, up that many videos in a year is crazy. Um, 40 videos in, a, in the first six months is nuts. If that was a video a week, I mean, that's probably close to a year's worth of content right there. And um, the problem is something has to come to a head here, and I think it's coming soon, where it's... Uh, just not realistic to keep this type of schedule especially for a channel as small as my channel you know so uh, maybe i should also bring up the patreon thing i guess i started a patreon for shits and giggles it is what it is some people hate patreon for whatever reason um some people don't i think it's a kind of a necessary type of thing especially for a smaller channel like mine because i'm not a type of guy who really wants to be a big channel i don't think i am worthy of it to be honest um and i'm generally not a, a guy i could see having 10 to 20 thousand subs or something and um to make money on youtube you really need to it's pretty crazy i mean it's just a big dick tease to make money on youtube because you know it's just a bunch of pennies here and there um you know it's like the nickel slot machine at best um and uh that's fine i don't really care about that so much it's um i mean if i can buy a sandwich i'm fucking happy here and there you know that's fucking great at the end of the day for everybody real content creators on youtube it really comes down to the passion and the, the love for it you know the it's more about making videos for me and um hopefully uh some of my friends will laugh at it and uh, other people will enjoy it or whatever you know what i mean it's really uh you gotta do it because you like to do it and uh if you're in it for the money you're fucking you're out of it you know at the same time though like i said since this schedule for me is not realistic to keep it's almost borderline irresponsible at this point i mean <laughs> it's uh if it fucks with your uh your relationships in real life sometimes too you know it's like i mean fuck i mean 2015 has been weird i've lost a couple friends already this year uh, close friends and uh there's just other you know other things come up, sometimes you don't want to hang out with people or you don't want to go to a movie because you're like, oh, I'm editing something for YouTube or I'm, I'm playing a, trying to get good at a video game for this and that. And so uh, it can kind of mess with your uh, your life a little bit, but you know, that's what uh, hobbies and passion projects are all about. But um, you know, sometimes it's good to at least take a step back and just kind of, you know, take it all in and not, you know, be too crazy with it because yeah it's actually uh, kind of irresponsible when it starts to fuck with your uh, relationships and stuff uh that being said you know with the patreon thing if you do want to help me out it's an honor to get anything from anything you know but uh uh i have a bunch of little dumb goals on there not goals but uh prizes and shit but it's like th it's all bullshit to be honest the, the main uh goal on there or whatever it's called a uh whatever it's called is uh you know i said you know i think i'm saying like 600 something bucks i'll be able to do this more full time type of a thing uh which is pretty much the schedule i've been doing now but uh maybe more ambitious type projects and uh yeah i mean i think 600 I mean, how do I put this? It's like, if I had 600 bucks to just fucking play with and put into this channel, I would fucking, that would be dangerous. 
I would, I mean, I would hire some dinosaurs and some fucking laser guns and some fucking, like, trust me, me with a budget is fucking dangerous. I think any channel with a budget is dangerous. And, uh, th there'd be some crazy shit that I could fucking do with a budget, let me tell you. But, um, you know, that's just a, kind of a, a head goal, you know, so, in a way, the fate of the channel's kind of in people's hands, only in the sense that, that the time I can put into this has to be, uh, uh, I gotta find that balance between, uh, real life stuff and, uh, you know, this passion project of, uh, the gaming YouTube thing. So, uh, feel free to help out if you want. If not, don't. Um, it's really that simple. I don't know why people get all oh, panties in a bunch over this Patreon thing. Um, it, it usually seems like the people who get the panties out of the bunch are the ones who are full-time working jobs and shit. Where I'm kind of freelance and I'm kind of, uh, up and down. I'm kind of hand to mouth in general anyway, so um, I'm able to do this a little more, but if you have a full-time job, I totally get the whole the whole thing, because uh, a lot of the YouTubers with Patreon and doing Patreon, or doing YouTube videos full-time are dedicating a lot of their time to making videos. Um, their free time, their personal time, uh, which a person with a full-time job might not have, and they're, they're lucky if they can upload a video every so often, and they're lucky if they can upload a video with any sort of, um, you know, crazy amount of time into it. Usually it's just gonna be a let's play or something really simple. And that's all well and good, and I, I follow a lot of people in, that, in those situations. Uh, a lot of good channels, you can still put out good stuff for sure. But the people who like really complain and just hate the whole e-begging thing, I mean, I totally get where they're coming from too. How dare you ask me for a dollar, a hard-earned dollar that I worked for. I work hard for the money, bitch. When I get home and log on to YouTube, I expect the people I watch to keep making free entertainment for me and making the Google gods all the fucking money, bitch. In fact, you don't even entertain me that much, motherfucker. I hate my job, it's not my fucking career choice I wanted, and my life sucks. My wife's a whore, my kid's a brat, and I need something to bitch about, and that's you. Asking me for a buck, it makes me want to punch another hole in the wall, you fucking prick. You annoy me. Well, I don't know what I'm saying there. But, uh, I mean, a lot of people that do complain about it aren't even content creators. Or if they are content creators, they're kind of bitter content creators that don't... I don't know. You know how it is. We've all seen those guys who are trying too hard. Or those guys who make kind of half-ass shit. Or don't really have uh, anything to offer really and uh, often they're the ones bitching and moaning about this whole thing and I understand you know for me personally I would I love doing it but uh, it's gotten to the point where yeah I might have to back off a little bit again I'll try to do something weekly uh, July is gonna be nuts I don't know if I'll have too much in July um, I'm going to uh, SGC I guess for a week and a half there of time that's gonna take up so I'm gonna go visit somebody for a day or two beforehand, travel up there with them. Um, props to Multitapped, um, some of them are uh, helping me get there financially. You know, I'm really going to hang out with uh, hang out with them and shit, so that's cool. Um, if any of my uh, subscribers are actually going to that thing, maybe I'll bump into you there, that would be cool. Um, but uh, kind of doubt it, but uh, so that's a thing. So, that, uh, so July might be a little crazy and there's a bunch of other stuff going on in, um, in real life world that might keep uh, make July kind of a uh, slow and then after that um, we'll see uh, what I can do I, I guess that's really it I uh, already did this uh, update earlier but it was really long and ranty so now I'm trying to kind of keep it fast so it might sound a little more uh, I don't know not, not quite as might be a little weird but uh, yeah so I might take a break to work on new videos but um, even when I'm not working on videos it's uh, you know something I'm work you know not far from my mind um, I might do some more tips and tricks video, maybe some more reviews, cause uh, yeah, I'm kind of sick of Let's Plays myself. Um, I love doing them, but I'm kind of sick of them being just everywhere. These days, with your, your Markiplier's and your PewDiePie's and whatnot, I mean, it is what it is. Um, nothing wrong with them per se, but like I said, I think, uh, you know, um, reviews and uh, things, uh, other things I have planned, I think, uh, might be worthwhile to do, just to, uh, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to start repeating myself here if, even more than I already have. Um, so yeah, new video uh, hopefully next week, uh, major video, and um, then we'll see what's going on from there. Yeah, just thanks for watching, um, if you're watching, and fucking have a good uh, good rest of your night there, okay? Alright, thank you guys. Here's to uh, two more years, and uh, whatever else. Alright guys, later. Operation Wolf? More like Operation Hard. Operation Wolf? Operation Wolf? More like Operation Hard. Operation Wolf? More like Operation Hard.
And let's not forget hybrid games like Bayou Billy, Mechanized Attack, or Laser Invasion. And let's not forget hybrid games like Bayou Billy, Mechanized Attack, or Laser Invasion. And let's not forget hybrid games like Bayou Billy, Mechanized Attack, or Laser Invasion.